Let's look at the number 70. We know that 7 times 10 equals 70. So, 70 divided by 10 equals 7. 7 goes into 70 10 times. Let's look at the number 1,800. 180 times 10 equals 1,800. So, 1,800 divided by 10 equals 180. Let's look at our bar model. Here you'll see 1,800 broken up into 10 equal groups. Each group has 180. 180 times 10 equals 1,800. 1,800 divided by 10 equals 180. Now we're going to divide by tens using a place value chart. Pause the video and fill out your place value chart. Excellent. Let's start with 70. 70 is already written in our place value chart with the 7 in the tens and the 0 in the ones. Now we're going to divide by 10. How many zeros does 10 have? 1. Exactly. So we're going to move one place value to the right because we are dividing. Notice how the 7 moves from the tens to the ones as we divide by 10. 7 times 10 equals 70, so 70 divided by 10 equals 7. Let's try with 160. 160 divided by 10. How many zeros does 10 have? 1. Exactly. Go ahead and cross out your 0 since we are dividing by 1 zero. We only cross out when we are dividing, which means we move over one place value to the right. The six moves from the tens to the ones, and the one moves from the hundreds to the tens, leaving us with the answer of 16. Now let's do our final problem, 1,600 divided by 10. Remember, we are dividing by 10, so we are only getting rid of one zero and moving one place value to the right. The zero from the tens moves to the ones, the six from the hundreds moves to the tens, and the one from the thousands moves to the hundreds, leaving us with the answer of 160. Now we're going to divide by numbers that are bigger than 10 but still multiples of 10. Let's go ahead and start with the first problem. 700 divided by 100. How many zeros does 100 have? Two, exactly. Go ahead and cross out your two zeros in 100 and the two zeros in 700. How many place values do you think the seven will have to move from the hundreds? Two place values. The seven moves from the hundreds to the ones, making our answer seven. Now let's do the next problem together. 3,600 divided by 100. How many zeros does 100 have? Two. Go ahead and cross out the two zeros in 100 and the two zeros found in 3,600. How many place values will we need to move? Two. The six moves from the hundreds to the ones, and the three moves from the thousands to the tens, making our answer 36. Let's divide by our biggest number yet, 1,000. Let's solve 54,000 divided by 1,000. How many zeros does 1,000 have? Three. Go ahead and cross out the three zeros in 1,000 and the three zeros in 54,000. How many place values do you think we'll need to move over? Three. Move the four from the thousands to the ones and the five from the ten thousands to the tens, getting the answer of 54.